What's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duel, so I'm going to be doing a Master Duel Vanquish Soul deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is currently one of the most powerful decks to play on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and it's fun to play too, which is amazing. Be able to control the board with all sorts of awesome hand traps and summon out really cool Vanquish Soul monsters is just amazing. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can become part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards to the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Vanquished Soul Ryzen. This card is definitely a three of in the build, and it's one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck, because if this card is normal or special summon, you can add one non-warrior Vanquished Soul monster from your deck to your hand. This card also has an insane ability, and all of your Vanquished Soul monsters actually have different effects to reveal different attributes of monsters between fire, dark, and earth to get different abilities. And this card's unique ability is that quick effect you can activate one of these effects by revealing monsters in your hand with different attributes to reveal fire monsters this card cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn but if you reveal fire and dark you destroy all other monsters in this card's column which is really awesome about this card we then play two copies of dr mad love dr mad love is a really good two of them that I, I almost played three copies in this build but it's really good as a two of if this card is normal or special summoned you can add a vent Vanquish Soul Spell a Trap from your deck to your hand, and if you reveal dark monsters with this card's ability, then you get to uh, one face-up monster that your opponent control loses 500 attack and defense, but if you reveal dark and earth, you return one monster with the lowest defense on the field back to the hand, your choice if it's a tie, which is a really cool effect for this card to have, just to be able to bounce a card off the field. I then play a single copy of Pantera. Pantera is just a really good one of in the deck, and I love this card in the build, but one is all you need. This card is really if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. And it also has the way that if you reveal earth monsters, this card cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. If you're earth and fire, you destroy all spells and traps in this card's column, which is an insane effect just to be able to deal with spells and traps on the field. We then play three copies of Heavy Borger. Borger is really good as a three of in the deck this card is really insane you can play two i like three in my build but this card is really good to be able to use because during the main phase quick effect you can target one non-machine vanquish soul monster that you control and return it back to the hand and if you do special summon this card from your hand and it's a really awesome effect that it is a quick effect so if your opponent does target one of your vanquish soul monsters you can just basically chain this card and then bounce your card back to hand and put this card on the field it also has a really cool effect that if you reveal a dark monster for this card's ability you get to draw a card and feel earth and fire for this card's ability then you get to inflict 15 and 1500 points of damage to your opponent which is just a really insane effect to do burn damage to your opponent with this card we then play two copies of jiao long jiao long is one of my favorites in this entire deck because this card is just insane it's actually just a really cool card because this card's a good extender and if you have to reveal a card in your hand to activate a vanquish soul card effect then you can actually special summon this card from your hand for free and this card is a really insane effect that if you reveal fire monsters you change the battle position of one monster on the field but if you reveal two fire monsters this card's ability you get to add a vanquish soul card from your deck to your hand except another copy of this card which is just such a cool effect but you really only need two copies of this card because it is so searchable we then play two copies of our main boss monster, Caesar Vallis. Caesar Vallis is such a good card as a two of in this build. And this card is so easy to summon in this deck. Because this card has a similar effect to your copy of Borger. That during your main phase, quick effect, you can target a non-dragon vanquish soul monster that you control and return that back to your hand. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand. And this card is a really cool ability if you reveal Earth for this card. This face-up card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects this turn. We reveal Earth, Fire, and dark you destroy one card on the field and it doesn't target which is so cool about this card's effect we then play for our other tech cards we're playing in the bill we're playing a single copy of bestial magnemut magnemut is really good as a one of in the deck because this card is just insane right now this card lets you target a lighter dark monster in the graveyard banish it any of you do special summon this card in your hand and it's a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster and during the end phase this card lets you add a dragon from your deck to your hand which can be your copy of caesar which is just so cool to be able to do or it can be a copy of druis worm druis worm is just good as a one of in the bill because both 
both of these cards are currently at one in Master Duel, but this card is really good to be able to play in the deck to basically just spot remove cards off the field. Speaking of cards at one, we also play a single copy of Fenrir. Fenrir is at one in Master Duel, but this card is basically a Cyber Dragon, plus it's an Earth in the deck that you can reveal in your hand. And it's really cool because you can special summon this card from your hand if you don't control a monster, just like a copy of Cyber Dragon. It spot removes cards off the field, which is just amazing. We then also play a single copy of Dolgoran. I really like one copy of Dolgoran in the deck because this card just deals with anything that your opponent puts on the field. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's amazing as a three of in the build just to stop your opponent from basically touching the deck. This card is really good overall. We then play three copies of Maxi. It's insane that Maxi is still at three in Master Duel. And this card is overall just a fantastic hand trap because every time your opponent special summons, you're going to draw a card, which is so cool about this card this card just ends games on its own and it's just crazy that this card is still at three in master duel we then play two copies of dimension shifter we don't really care about the graveyard so this card is just really good plus you can technically reveal it if you want to for your vanquish souls effects but usually you're going to want to use this card first we then play two copies of dd crow because there is a lot of graveyard heavy decks and this card just helps out a lot to deal with graveyards and it's amazing overall then we play a single copy of car curry car curry is great in this deck as a one of i only feel like you need a single copy you could play two if you wanted to but i like one overall in the deck it's just a really powerful hand trap in this build that can basically just board break your opponent so that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Rhoda. Rhoda is really good as a one of in the deck because you can help us search out the exact card that we need. We then play a single copy of Durandal. Durandal is really good as a one of in the deck because you can basically just equip this card to a monster. And then it has the ability that you can add a level five or lower fire warrior monster from your deck to your hand, then destroy this card, which the card you're always adding off this card's ability is going to be your copy of Horizon, which is just so cool to be able to add to your hand, which is just really really good to be able to use these cards to basically count as your copies of number basically four and five of the card to be able to get to your hand we then play a single copy of pot of prosperity pot of prosperity is currently at one in master duel so this card is just a good one of in the deck especially since we don't super need the entire extra deck we then play a single copy of continue continues great because this card is a monster reborn lets you pay 500 light points and then target a vanquish soul monster in the graveyard and either add it to your hand or special summon it in defense mission which is a pretty cool ability we then play three copies of of stake your soul stake your soul is probably one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck this card is ridiculous it lets you reveal one monster in your hand and then special summon a vanquish soul monster with the same attribute but a different name from your deck but return to the hand during the end phase but that's such a cool ability that you could special summon any vanquish soul monster you want just by basically revealing any card in your hand that's a monster it's just such a good card in the deck we then also play three copies of Small World. Small World is really good as a three of in this build because we have so many different bridges in the deck to be able to use with Small World to be able to get to the exact cards that we need. And it's just really good to be able to use basically our hand traps to be able to get into the exact cards that we need and the tech monsters that we're playing that you can use basically in this build to get to the exact cards that you need because the majority of our Vanquish Soul cards are all different types, which is so cool. And there are different attributes between Fire, Dark, and Earth. Earth, which is basically the hand traps as well which is just super cool to be able to do so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, we're going to be playing just two traps, and that's going to be a single copy of Vanquish, Snow, Vanquish Soul Snow Devil. Snow Devil is really good as a one of. I absolutely love Snow Devil. This card is really good because it lets you reveal one each of a dark earth and a fire monster in your hand and apply the following effects in sequence based on the number reveal. If you reveal one, you inflict 400 points of damage to your opponent. Then you special summon a Vanquish Soul monster from your hand. If you reveal two, you inflict 600 points of damage to your opponent. Also this turn, Vanquish Soul monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects and if you have three you inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent then you destroy all monsters on the field which is such a good ability about this card it's just insane how powerful this one of spell or one of trap is 
And you might have seen a copy of There Can Be Only One, which is ironic that this card went to one, and I've always wanted this card to go to one, so I could say, there can only be one copy of There Can Only Be One. This card is really good in the deck as a one-up. It's to play basically all different types in this deck, and this card is just super helpful in the build to be able to use as a floodgate, but it's at one, so you can only play one. So, that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start off with three copies of Rock of the Vanquisher. Rock of the Vanquisher is the most important card in the entire extra. This card is a link one that you're going to be making with whatever you normal summon out to your side of the field, because this card is really cannot be used as link material. And then while you control a Vanquish Soul monster, your opponent's monsters can only target monsters you control with the highest attack. Their choice if it's a tie. And this card also has a really cool ability during the main phase, quick effect, you can activate one of these effects to special summon a Vanquish Soul monster from your hand or add a Vanquish Soul monster from your graveyard back to your hand, which is just such a cool ability about this card to get the exact effect that you need. We then play a single copy of Underworld Goddess. Underworld Goddess is just really good at spot removing monsters that are basically like towers on the field, off the field. We then play a single copy of Nightmare Unicorn to spin stuff. One copy of the Dark Charmer. This card is great in the deck as a one up to be able to just help you climb into cards like your copy of unicorn we play a single copy of security dragon security dragon is great because it's very easy to be able to make your copy of rock and then get this card to point to it and then be able to bounce a card off the field which is just really nice to be able to do we play a single copy of ip ip is great to be able to make in the deck so you can make your copy of unicorn or underworld goddess during the opponent's turn we play a single copy of baron because we can make it because we do play a lot of level three tuners and we play some level sevens in the deck so you can make baron in theory in the deck which is pretty good we then play a single copy of big eye big eye is also great in decks to be able to take opponents monsters you can play any rank seven that you want in the deck in this particular position because you can play flare metal if you want to or anything else but this card is just the best one in my opinion we then play a Zodiac Engine, which is going to be a single copy of Chalkanine, one copy of Borbo, and a single copy of Dryden. It's insane that Dryden is at, at any number in Master Duel, but this card is really good because it pop cards on the field, which is just really nice to be able to do. We then play a single copy of Baguska, just so we can slow down the game, which is really nice about this card. And then finally, we play a single copy of Double A Zeus. Double A Zeus is just really good. It's basically board wiping the field, and it's just an overall fantastic card. So, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoy this Master Duel Vanquish Soul deck profile. This is a really fun deck to be able to play on Master Duel. If you guys have not played Vanquish Soul before on Master Duel, you should definitely give this deck a try because it's really fun and I absolutely love playing this deck, especially the amount of hand traps that you can fit into this deck, which is just so cool. So, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can become part of the notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.